Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make buttons for Canvas. Um, I am just going to teach you through Google Slides. I'm sure there's probably tons of different ways to make buttons from different websites or platforms. I did see someone um, use canva.com, um, but today, like I said, I'm just going to show you through Google Slides. So I created this button a while ago, um, and so I'm going to try to recreate that for you. So before you make up make your buttons, think about what you want for your classroom, what you want your class, your students to click on or parents to click on. And so then once you have your vision, you would go to insert image, search the web, and then on the right side, um, a box will pop up. And I am going to type in, which is already typed for me because I um, did it previously. Um, red circle because that's my background so let's just pretend it's not there red circle and then I would press enter then I can use the bar scroll up and down to see what circle that I like best I'm just gonna go with this one and then double click it and then it pop up then I'm going to resize it to my liking so I'm just going to keep it a little bit big for you guys to see and so now I want some books to for an image and so I would go back to insert image search the web and then this time type in books and see what pops up and press enter um, again I can use that bar to go up and down scroll up and down to see what I like I'm just going with the first one double click it then I want to resize it to fit in my red circle and then I would move it over to my circle. Um, and I do like it like that. And so now I want the word reading above my books. And so I would go back to insert, click on text box, then click on where I want it. Um, I want my writing to be white. So I would click on the letter A with that line underneath text color click on white and then um, I want it to be bolded so click on the letter B and then I would start type in reading reading and so I want mines to be bigger so I'm gonna increase the number to make it bigger and then this is just me I just want this smaller. Oh. And then move it above my books until I like where it's at. So click away to see if I like it. I do. So now I want to screenshot it. So on a Mac to screenshot you press command shift three and then it should pop up in the corner so I would click on that and so now I want to crop it and so I would go to where this um, square is kind of overlapping click on that and then resize or get ready to crop um, it's not going to matter in canvas if there's white showing because it won't pop up so um, and then I like where it's at. I'm going to scoot this up just a little bit and scoot this in a little bit more. Now I like where it's at. <laughs> and then I would press crop. Then press done. And it should automatically go into my files. I'm just going to go down and go to my recent. And it's there. Perfect. So then I would go over to... My classroom and press um, in canvas press edit then go down to where my table is if you don't have one you can create one um, right over here and then and you can see in my other video how to make one um, then click on images upload new image choose file and then I'm going to click on recent to find my image perfect 
press open then you can type in you have to type in the alternative text box so i'm just gonna write a for now but you can write whatever you want um and then i am going to scroll down now if it will let me perfect and then press upload and then it should pop up perfect it popped up and then to see if it went through press save and it should pop up let's scroll down perfect there it is and so that's how you would make it through Google Slides I hope this video was helpful um, and I'll try to keep making videos to help um, everyone out all my friends out have a wonderful day bye